Disney Anna Elsa, Memory and Magic, Chapter 3. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Disney Anna Elsa, Memory and Magic, Chapter 3. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid Channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. The next day, Anna went for a walk in the forest. Usually, she would have asked Elsa to join her. But today, she felt like being alone. She wanted time to think. Anna was still worried about her foggy childhood memory. She couldn't seem to remember anything specifically related to Elsa's magic. It was very strange. She knew Elsa had been born with her powers. She'd had them ever since they were little. But all of Anna's memories of Elsa's magic were very recent. They took place when Elsa was queen. Anna spent the whole morning thinking about Elsa's magic. Something about it just didn't add up. She needed to speak to Elsa directly and ask her a few questions. Anna was on her way back to the castle when suddenly a large rock rolled into her path. The rock tumbled end over end and came to a stop at her feet. Then it popped open, arms and legs and a shaggy head sprang out. Anna realized it wasn't a rock at all. It was a mountain troll. Greetings, my lady, the troll said. He had gray skin the same color as a stone. A tuft of grass sprouted from the top of his head between two large round ears. Hello, Anna said, surprised. She'd met some of the trolls before with Kristoff, but she didn't recognize this one. She'd never seen a troll during the daytime, either. My name is Brock, he said with a sweeping bow. Brock the Mystical. Pleased to meet you, Brock the Mystical, Anna said. I'm... I know exactly who you are, Princess Anna. Anna the Beauteous, he exclaimed. Anna chuckled. My name's not Anna the Beauteous, she told him. Just Anna. All right, just Anna, Brock said. He smiled widely at her, waggling his fuzzy eyebrows. I think I can be of service to you, my lady. How? Anna asked. I have many magical powers, Brock explained. Oh, powers, Anna said. My sister has those. She had a little trouble with them at first. No trouble here, just Anna, Brock replied. Anna looked doubtfully at the little troll. He seemed friendly enough, but she still wondered if he might be up to something. Look, I should be getting back to the castle, Anna said. She stepped around Brock and started to walk away. Weren't you forgetting something, my lady? Brock asked. I don't think so, Anna said. Are you sure? What about your memories? Anna stopped. She turned to face the troll. What do you know about my memories? She asked. If you'd like to come with me, I'll show you, he replied. Anna thought about it, then agreed. Maybe Brock could help her solve the mystery of her missing memory. She followed him deeper into the forest. Brock led Anna along a winding path bordered by huge trees. They walked across a small stone bridge over a babbling creek. On the bank of the creek was a wide clearing, empty of snow and dotted with piles of dried leaves and brush. In the middle stood a little thatched hut made of grass and twigs. It had a round wooden door, not much taller than Brock himself. Anna had to duck as she followed the troll into the hut. 
Welcome to my humble home, just Anna, Brock said. There wasn't much in the hut. There was a small fire pit in the middle of the room. A bed made of feathers and grass sat in one corner. There were several stacks of moldy books and a few old pots and pans. Other than that, the place was bare. May I offer you some birch bark tea, my lady? Brock asked, lighting a fire in the pit. No thanks, Anna said. She was eager to learn what Brock knew about her memory. Once they sat down, Brock began his tale. He told Anna how the trolls were the oldest creatures in Arendelle, older than the trees. They knew all the secrets of the forest. The oldest of them, the elder troll, was a powerful healer and artist. Anna knew an elder troll. His name was Grand Pabi. He'd told her how to thaw a frozen heart. Grand Pabi was very wise. I'll let you in on a little troll secret, Brock said. I'm going to be just like Grand Pabi. My powers are growing every day. He picked up a pot and held it to his ear, as if it were talking. Oh, Anna said, watching Brock carefully. So what do you know about my memories? Your childhood memories of magic were removed, Brock explained. The troll went on to describe a night long ago, when little Anna and her family had traveled to the mountains to see Grand Pabby. Elsa had accidentally zapped her sister with a magical swirl of ice while they were playing. Their parents had rushed Anna to the trolls. Luckily, Grand Pabby, the troll elder, had healed Anna. But the king and queen were afraid that people would not understand Elsa's powers. To keep them a secret, Grand Pabby removed Anna's memories of Elsa's magic. He left only her memories of having fun. That had all been a long time ago. Elsa didn't have to hide her powers anymore. But Anna's memories of her sister's magic were still missing. Anna was stunned as she listened to this tale. That's impossible, she said. Again, she thought about growing up with Elsa. Anna remembered certain things like catching frogs together and singing in the bathtub. But when she tried to think of anything related to magic, all she remembered was snow and laughter. Brock's story made sense. Not to worry, just Anna, Brock said. I can bring back your memory. Anna wasn't sure. Brock seemed nice enough, but he didn't seem very wise. Even more troubling was the thought that if Brock was right, then Elsa knew what had happened. She had been there when their parents had taken Anna to Grand Pabby. But Elsa would have told Anna about that, wouldn't she? Anna realized that even though they had spent a lot of time together lately, the sisters had not talked about their childhood very much. Anna stood and bumped her head on the low ceiling of the hut. I'm sorry, she said, rubbing her head. But I have to go now. Brock scrambled to his feet. What about your memories, my lady? Surely you'll be wanting them back? Anna shook her head. She didn't know what to believe. Slowly, she backed out of Brock's hut. The troll looked disappointed, but he didn't give up. Okay, just Anna, Brock called. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teepkid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.